Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding Class. In today's video we're going to be creating an interactive scene on Scratch and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So basically this project is great for beginners, it's basically when we click on the sprite it will interact back at us and maybe if you're a bit more experienced with Scratch you can maybe modify this add in a few more different blocks but for today's tutorial I'm just going to assume that you haven't really used too much Scratch before so we're going to go over everything in detail. So first we want to create a nice backdrop and the backdrop Drop is basically the background of our scene so choose a backdrop and then for today's um, project I'm going to do an underwater themed one you don't have to you can do any one the spaceship one looks quite cool but we're just going to choose underwater and then we're going to choose some sprites and sprites are basically like characters so we can choose a sprite I'm going to choose a shark so if we go down you'll see the shark here perfect and I can drag this around to wherever I want it and basically when we click on the shark we want stuff to happen and for each sprite that stuff is going to be quite different so go into events and drag this when this sprite clicked and then after you drag this sprite clicked underneath that and let's, let's get the shark to maybe ask what's your name so go into sensing ask what's your name and then you type in the answer and then we want the shark just we can say hello and if you want to make it a bit more complicated you want to say hello whatever your name is then that's very simple go into operators and get this join block and basically that just basically joins uh, two words together so we can go hello and then whatever name that you have entered so we choose hello and then we want to do a space and then Whatever name you entered can be done in answer, so we can go into the sensing, and this is the answer of the previous question. We can put it here, so when we click on the shark, what is your name? I'm just going to do SEC, scratch coding class, hello SEC. Perfect, that's exactly what we want, and that is all we're going to do for the shark, because I want to show you a wide range of stuff you can do with these sprites. We're going to choose another sprite, and for the sprite I am going to choose a hedgehog, and for this hedgehog, we're going to say, I'm lost, what what shall we do? Because the hedgehog isn't supposed to be underwater, so we can go into events when the sprite clicked, and then we can ask, uh, I'm lost, uh, should I be underwater? And the answer is actually no, but if let's say the user puts in yes then we can get this um, sprite to say something else so there's going to be um, two different answers to this question so we're going to go into the control if then and else so if uh, then if answer equals yes so we need to go in the center and get the answer if the answer is yes then basically uh, we can say um, are you sure and then um, I think it's on land or I should be on land and you can increase the duration by just um, selecting here and let's do three seconds and then we can just say thanks for helping anyway you can just change this whatever you want so thanks anyway and let's say you type in no which is the correct answer then then let's just get him let's just maybe glide a bit so glide basically basically moves a sprite to a certain coordinate so the top of the screen is basically y180 so we can choose y180 and we maybe want to move the hedgehog down a bit and the question's already showed up so we can glide upwards and then we can maybe hide and we probably also want to say thanks as well and now we, what we want to do is we want to put the sprite back at this position every single time so just to reset it uh, we're going to do when green flag clicked and then we need to go down to motion and then we need to select this block go to whatever coordinate it's on right now so it's going to go to the exact same position and we want to show it because we already hit it um, and then all we have to do is just press green flag and it just resets there we can click on it, I'm lost, should I be on the border, let's say no, then he says thanks, and then he just glides up, and then he hides, so that's just um, simulating that he's on the land right now, and if we press green flag, he's shown back again, and let's just test if we say yes, and then he just says that, 
and then he just stays on the water anyway and now I'm gonna create another sprite and this sprite um, let's change things up let's do a penguin and penguins can actually swim on the water so we want the penguin to swim round so we can go when green flag clicked um, basically we want to go back to this position because this penguin is going to be moving quite a lot and we're going to point in the direction of 90 degrees and this penguin is basically going to rotate a lot when it swims to make it a bit more realistic so when the sprite is clicked basically what we want to do is we want to rotate yeah I don't think 15 degrees is enough I'm going to do 40 degrees so let's see if this works yeah that's not enough I think we go 90 degrees so that is basically facing left there we go perfect so that is it swimming and there are all these different costumes so uh, we can use this one to see it's breathing so we want to uh, basically switch these two costumes A and B uh, throughout the entire script and we can do that when when the sprite clicked and then we want a forever loop and then basically we're gonna wait one second and then we want to change the costumes so we're gonna change costume penguin 2a to penguin 2b and then we want another one second block and that should be everything and probably we're gonna change this forever loop because we probably don't want this going forever uh, but we'll see how long this lasts so turn 90 degrees and then we're just gonna glide to random positions so we can glide um, one second to a random position and we probably want to actually glide back to this coordinate at the very end so instead of just duplicating this go to random position let's just put a repeat loop so we're gonna do three glides so it's gonna glide to three different points and it's gonna glide back again and then that is it so when we click on this right there we go it's swimming and I don't think it should be upside down so maybe I should press the green flag and we'll try again there we go it's just swimming randomly and then it swims back again and when it swims back again let's say we broadcast a message and we can broadcast instead we don't even need to broadcast a message we can get to stop or stop other scripts and spray put it down here then this script will stop so let's try this again so we click on that it swims randomly and then it stops all perfect and then what we want to do now is we're going to create one more sprite and this sprite let's see if there's any fish around there is a fish perfect and basically we want this fish to look cool we want it to change color and we can choose any one of these four fish so i'm just going to choose um the second one and we can change the color of the fish randomly so we want to do when the sprite clicked we're going to repeat 10 times and we're going to wait one second and we're going to use something known as an effect so we're going to use the color effect and that basically just changes the color of the sprite so we're going to set the color effect to zero to start off with so it's just going to look like um, what it is right now then we're going to repeat every 0.5 seconds it's going to switch color and then we want to set the color effect back to zero again so we want to change the color effect and changing is basically just adds on 25 so the color effect is going to add on 25 each time maybe we'll not do 25 maybe we'll do 35 and now when i click on the sprite there you go it just changes color that looks really cool and then it will go back to the beginning and that is basically all i wanted to really do today um, you can add more sprites if you want or you can maybe and um, maybe when you click on one of these sprites it could maybe teleport you to a game or something like that but that is only if you're um, confident that you can code um, a game and and that is basically all i want to do so thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you soon bye for now